don't know. Hey, we're having a good time in here this morning. Um, we always have fun. Well, not, yeah. not not all the time. Some days are a little little rougher than others. But uh, the today, days April are here. <laughs> today is uh, Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and we're going to talk to Deb a little bit more about credit. She wants to go over some things about credit that folks just don't know. And uh, when you're getting ready to buy a house out there, sometimes you, you just don't know what, what you need to do as far as your credit and get ready to buy a house. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to talk to Deb, leader one again, and uh, see what she has to say. So let's go. Okay, Deb. So we're down here to ask some more questions. And today we're going to talk about credit. And we, we talked a little bit about that last time. Mm -hmm. And so what are... What are some ways that people can build their credit? Because we we deal with a lot of first time home buyers that call us online, um, maybe call our signs, and they don't know anything about credit. They just want a house. So right. how does a person go about building credit? You know, or finding out what they got? Okay, sure. That's a good question. Um, the best thing they can do is just open a small credit card. Mm -hmm. And um, when they do that, I mean, you could go for even like a prepaid card if you don't have credit, it's kind of that old adage, well, how do I get a job if I don't have any experience? Well, how do I get credit if I don't have any? Right. So you can get a secured card. Okay. And generally they're like three, five hundred dollars. Um, so that would be the first thing to do. And so basically if you take your own money and deposit it into their account, you could do that at a local bank or you can get something maybe with Cap One. So a small card, and the key to it is, is that they only want to have their balance at 10% of whatever the max credit limit they give them. Okay. So if they're paying their card and they need to pay it on the due date, and it's a $300 limit, they need their payment, uh, they need their balance to only be $30. Huh, and they I didn't make know it. that. Yeah. Well, that's good to and know. so if they'll do that consistently for a few months, then they'll start building a good score. Credit bureaus will go about 60 days behind before they actually start reporting that. Mm -hmm. So when we do coach them to start up something, it could be 90 days before we really have a score. So that's that's what I would tell them to do to actually build some credit. So if they have no score at all, there's a lot. zero, right? Yeah. Um, how, how do they go about that? Um, that you can actually build alternative credit. We talked last week about FHA being a first-time home uh -huh. buyer deal. Yes. Um, you can build alternative credit if you have no scores at all, or if you have a lack of trade lines. So alternative credit would be like rent checks, which the key to that is pay your rent by check so that you can prove that. Show a 12-month pay history of rent checks. Okay. Always be in on time, no 30-day lates. You can do it with utilities, you can do it with cell phone bills, insurance bills. So basically we want to build about four trade lines of 12 month pay history. That is alternative trade. So you're talking a good year. Yes. Of establishing a history. Yes. So if somebody comes to me and they have no credit and they want to buy, they, they are they going to have to spend a good 12 months to get everything squared away before if, they can? If they didn't already have that going, I'll quiz them in the actual prequal part of it and mm -hmm. find out if they have this. Because if they do, then we can go ahead and move forward with no scores. Okay. But you need three to four 12-month pay histories on no lates. So very important to be on time with everything that they're doing. Hmm. And it's never too soon to start creating credit. I mean, no, you can do that when you're in high school. So yes. it's, it's important to start thinking about that. Yes. Um, what exactly builds credit? Because sometimes I'll talk to people and they know their credit may not be where it needs to be. Right. So they're like, well, we got to work on our credit and then we're going to look at it again. But I don't know if they really know what's the good things to do to really get the most bang for their, you mm -hmm. know, buck exactly. as, as far as getting the credit going. What what's some good things to do to actually build your credit? First off, always have on time payments. Do you It'll know? Be on time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you go <laughs> over thirty one. days late, you're you're having a bad mark on your credit. Okay. Um, that and we talked about the balances. We want to keep our balance to ten percent of whatever the limit is. That's number two. Mm -hmm. okay. And the best way to actually build credit in files are one installment loan to every credit card. And if you'll keep a few trade lines going with one installment and one credit card, then that will actually build your credit hmm. a lot. I've seen the best credit scores I've seen have been basically about three trade lines 
in that type of combination. And, and a trade, line, their balance is a trade line is what again? When you um, say trade line? It's a revolving account being a credit card okay. or an installment loan being like a car loan or okay. um, there's other places to establish credit like World Finance, Springley, places like that that are considered installment loans and they all report. That's the key. You want to make sure whatever you're doing, it's reporting to all three agencies. Okay. Awesome. And a lender can help you with that if you got no questions. So somebody like you. So go ahead and give them your information um, sure. real quick here. Sure. It's Leader One Financial and our phone number is 816-622-8320. And our, our, give me my email. It's Debbie Brazel, D-E-B-B-I-E-B-R-A-S-E-L at Leader one.com awesome well we're going to do it again deb thank you so much thank you have a great day see you next week